we started with um, two b basic sets of English settlers who uh, b both came here, especially the ones in the South, on the basis of a gigantic uh, uh, global advertising campaign to convince them that this would be Eden and Utopia of whatever flavor they desired, that they would find gold uh, in Virginia, which they spent 20 disastrous years looking for despite all evidence to the contrary and no gold and died and kept coming and died and kept coming. So as the historian Daniel Borstein once said, we are, American civilization was shaped by the fact that we self-selected for being suckers. Um, <laughs> and so that's the South and in the North, uh, as you know, we, we, we are fed in our school books an idea of the pilgrims uh, and uh, and the Puritans being um, our, our great founders who came here for religious freedom. They did come here for religious freedom, freedom to build as a as a extreme faction of an extreme faction of Protestants a theocracy, which they did for, effectively for most of the century. So there's that in the 1600s. Uh, uh, 1700s uh, was. Uh, I'll touch on, I'll hopscotch to this extraordinary uh, evangelist uh, that people don't know much about named George Whitefield who, who co-started uh, Methodism with John Wesley and, and was this extraordinary figure. The, and, and he was English, but he came here because he was born to be an American. And wh uh, what he did as this very handsome young man who'd had a life in the theater turned religion into a kind of performance and show business. And instead of just reading sermons, he performed the role of Jesus, performed the role of the apostles, performed the role of the sinners falling into the fiery pits. And, and, and that was exciting and more exciting and entertaining. At the same time, we have somebody like Jonathan Edwards in Western Mass who is enabling people to feel the Holy Spirit and believe that uh, the divine is within them and shaking and jerking and, and that feeling that they are inhabited by God makes it so. Um, Fast forward, and I don't want to just do religion, but Joseph Smith, the Mormons, an extraordinary invention uh, that he, he found the third secret part of the Bible and got thousands of people to believe, follow, suffer, and die on the basis of believing his thing. Um, the, 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 the extraordinary century, 19th century was this extraordinary century of, of quack medicine, which, and again, hopscotching a little bit, at the beginning of the 20th century, finally, patent medicines and quack medicines, we, we, were, we, we, we found our way clear to decide, like, no, let's suppress that. Let's, let's get away from that. Um, there's real science and real medicine that works now. Let's get rid of that. Um, and, and then, of course, when the 1960s and 70s came along, again, this is just an example of one of the threads, we decided, no, homeopathy, you can be a homeopath, you can believe in crystals, you can believe in healing magical energies. All of these things that had thrived like mad in the, in the, in the 1800s, but then when the, when the sober, sensible, scientific 20th century came along, were sort of suppressed, came back with a vengeance and, 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 and are now uh, virtually dominant. So you have that. You also have, I, I, I would say that, um, um, uh, a great journalistic example that I'm sure you know about um, is, is, is as the cheap newspapers were starting in New York in the 1830s, the Penny Papers, the New York Sun, one of the great pioneering ones, ran this six-part series, what, a different 2,000-word, 3,000-word installment each day about these great discoveries by this new giant telescope of inhabitants and temples on the moon and flying Batman and and, and everyone believed it. Uh, I mean, talk about fake news. Um, and, 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 and everyone believed it. Oh, Horace Greeley himself, not a, a, you know, the, the, the journalist of his day, um, uh, absolutely credited this. And, and, and so pe because it was so entertaining, people wanted to believe it. And, 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 and so to the degree that, that there is a, a native credulity, I think, born of being self-selected for being suckers or self-selected for being extreme religionists, um, that was then preyed upon, fed by people who knew how to make a buck, whether it was the publishers of the New York Sun or P.T. Barnum with his fake mermaids. Then in the, in the, in the uh, 
uh, I guess I'll, I'm, I'm over my four minute limit, so I'll skip through the, through the, through the 20th century when it seems like uh, the, the kind of atavistic uh, religious beliefs are, are, are finally maybe fading away and reason is triumphing, but not, but really just the embers were banked. Um, uh, we get to the 1960s when, as I say, well, that's when um, for all of the great, great, wonderful um, consequences of the 1960s from civil rights to environmental um, sensitivity to feminism, all the rest. Obviously, no debate with any of those. But this unreckoned other aspect, which is to say the relativism where any uh, belief is equal to any other uh, and science is equal to magic and, prim and, and, and belief in shamans is equal to belief in science and all the rest, um, began us on a road in so many different ways to um, the... the, the uh, inability or unwillingness to uh, distinguish between the true and the false. And, uh, and meanwhile, the entertainment fantasy industrial complex is, is further by becoming more immersive, not just a novel you read, but a movie you watch, not just a movie you watch, but television 24 hours a day, not just television 24 hours a day, but gaming during the other hours of the week. Um, uh, further, further creating a, 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 a a mediascape in which um, the, the the real and the and the fictional um, uh, are are one, and the di differences between them are blurred. Um, and then we get the internet, internet, and uh, here we are, and we elect Donald Trump. 